Today I'm going to do a fun video demonstrating the phosphorescence of peanut butter. Here's a sample of peanut butter that I recently bought. Let me talk with you about the difference between phosphorescence and fluorescence. So um, this diagram shows what is fluorescence. So you have a substance and it has electrons in the outer shells. And when a certain wavelength of light hits those electrons, the electrons get excited into higher energy levels. And then through vibrational relaxation, they lose some of that energy and drop into slightly lower sublevels, and then drop back down to the original level from which the excitation took place. And this is fluorescence. And this process from here to here occurs almost instantaneously. And when the energy source is turned off, there's no more visible light being produced. Now that is different to phosphorescence where there's a process that goes on called intersystem crossing where the energy, instead of dropping back down to the original level and re-emitting a, lo uh, a lower energy light, so this was, say, ultraviolet light, this could be, say, green light. But instead of re-emitting the light as green light, it undergoes energy uh, crossing to a different set of energy levels and then you can get some vibrational relaxation as shown here and then it can drop down to the original energy level and this process can take several seconds and while this is happening while this intersystem crossing is going on you've got a process known as phosphorescence which can last from fractions of a second to several hours in length so today i'm going to demonstrate this process with peanut butter which may surprise some people if they've not heard of this before. Here we have a uranium glass teddy bear. These things are fluorescent, which means they absorb energy and re-emit the energy at a different wavelength. So typically green glass, which is uranium glass, absorbs UV light and then re-emits it as green light. So let's do a demo on this. Over here I have a UVA, UVA flashlight, and over here a UVB flashlight. Now let's just demonstrate fluorescence with these two flashlights. Let me first turn off the light. This is UVA. And this is UVB. Not a lot of difference between the two in terms of the way that this uranium glass fluoresces. If anything, the UVB looks a bit brighter. And as you can see, when I turn off the light source, the light output instantaneously goes off. Here I have a phosphorescent screen which has briefly been exposed to room light and I have a red laser pen here and as you can see the red light does actually cause some small degree of phosphorescence now I have a UV laser pen here and let's see what that does so that produces very very vivid bright phosphorescence that lasts quite a, quite a bit of time. Now let's contrast that with the red pen. This suggests that the red light that's coming out of this laser pen is not pure red light and there are other components in it causing the phosphorescence. Pure red light by itself would not do that. Now, let's turn our attention to peanut butter.
you can see that the light persists for a short time after the UV is removed. Another thing that I noticed when I was shining this UV light on this fluorescent screen is that it left a kind of a black mark. And you can see it better by shining it for a longer time. There's an actual area of blackness that is actually glowing. And why it looks black, I have no idea. If anyone can figure that out, that would be great. Thanks for watching and please check back. Do appreciate comments and suggestions. And please don't forget to subscribe if you like this channel or these type of videos.